You're getting so good at that. And driving? The people at Starbucks knew that you drove. Oh, really? Yeah, because when they were asking about where I've been, yeah. the lady, uh, one of the girls was like, but he he drives, right? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> He's, That's all I can do. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought we would fill you guys in on what's going on this week. This week is going to be a little more hectic, but the next three weeks, we're going to be back and forth between Austin a lot. My brother works on an oil rig. And so he's gone for three weeks at a time and then he's back for three weeks at a time. They just got a new puppy. Her name is River and she's so freaking cute. And while he is gone and then his wife works all day, the little puppy is not quite house trained yet. And so he's asked us to go basically puppy sit for them during the day while she's at work. Monday, is it Monday, Thursday, Friday? We're gonna drive up to Austin puppy sit during the day and then come back so we'll both be working from there but maybe we can get some footage of being around Austin oh that also makes me think um, I want to put together some more care packages we're gonna be in that area more we haven't been able to so we've got two left but I want to put together more and we haven't been able to travel as much as we had hoped but since we're gonna be in Austin chances are we're gonna see more people that might enjoy them. Yep. Actually one guy, because it's the same corner that we go to the rock gym, he happened to be there twice. Do you remember that? Yeah, but we gave him the First time we gave him peanut butter and crackers, crackers, and then the second time we gave him a bag. Um, so he was there, but he, he still got different stuff. Yeah. He's a re he was a really nice guy. Um, keep smiling, so I'm still doing it, for the <laughs> most part. We're smiling. Right now we're going to the grocery store. Yeah. End, end of story. Not a bad idea. How, what's the next plan? I don't have a next plan. That's actually pretty impressive. How's the grip strength? Pretty good. What do I do now? I can't get it to the ground <laughs> and the door is closed. Yeah. Put him under the bed. I'll get him. <laughs> I got him too with the door. He's doing good. <laughs> Can you sit in the hammock? Make sure there's no black widows in it. This is secure, right? I hope so. God. Oh, that's a new thing. I'm gonna lift my legs. So. That's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And maybe you can help me straighten my leg up because you know it's curved. Yeah. My leg needs to be pushed down right here. Yeah, this could work out. <laughs> Who's at my door? <gasps> Hi. Hi, buddies. Y'all ready? Come on in. How'd y'all get out? Oh, here he comes. He's so cute. Yeah. Here I come. <laughs> Took care of the dogs. They just came straight here. Oh, they're here? Oh, careful. You careful. I'm gonna catch your fall on camera. So when people ask what happened again. It's time we have it on camera. <laughs> Slow motion. All right, our groceries today. Sugar-free apple cinnamon oatmeal. Basically bread and butter pickles. They're sweet pickles. Strawberry jelly. Pizza sauce. Ketchup. Nutritional yeast. This is gold. We got some candy gummies. Tofurkey pepperoni. Water flavors. Cookie butter spread for our PB&Js. Apple cinnamon rice cakes. Cold brew. Nut milk, cashew milk. Apples. Croissant. Oh. Uh oh. These are croissant rounds. The idea with those, usually we get the croissant rolls. I think they should work the same. You make pizza crust with them, hence the sauce and pepperonis. The pizza crust is awesome. So if you get croissant dough and just make pizza crust out of it, it takes a little effort to form it into a crust. It's worth it, it's so good. Coleslaw, spring mix, and broccoli. That's all we got today. Oh, and toiletry items. Sophie Lumpkins. 
Sophie Lovie. That's yours. Eat. Eat. Get it. Good boy. So Blair is always stressed out. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to pick up more of the slack again. I uh, just kind of get back into my own groove a little bit. Uh, I have trouble carrying things, so it makes it a little difficult. But I'm starting to get better at it, so I just can't carry liquids found that out um, but yeah I mean I'm, I'm trying to feed animals again um, you know doing my own thing like you know shower and all that I have my own methods for all of that uh, it's kind of one of those things that you figure out on, on the way um, or as you go kind of thing really just can't sleep so that's it's weighing on me a little bit uh, I noticed that whenever I don't sleep as much I end up kind of feeling a little rough um, and this this weather that we're having is is not helping. It looks you know nice. It's really nice out there. Kind of you know it's slow morning, but it's it's just hot and humid it's, all it's the time. Muggy. Muggy. Muggy is the word. Yeah, it's like you can't breathe. Like the actual heat isn't bad. I don't mind hot. Like we're from Texas. Heat. I don't mind it, but it you walk outside and it just you're immediately drenched in like sweat because it's so humid and it's like a heavy air it's hard to breathe yeah whenever you have something jammed in your armpit it makes it really kind of uncomfortable you know crutches are horrible it's not as bad yeah we should travel to colorado but uh oh my gosh. yeah colorado would be amazing right now but kind of difficult to travel at the moment but i'm hoping it's not bad now that you can drive yeah i can drive we might be able to get you to learn how to hitch everything up yeah well, I but mean, uh I all you have to do is stay in point. I can yeah. totally do that. We can go somewhere. Yeah, but other things are difficult. I'd really like to be able to walk so I can well, actually... Well, that's true. Like, once we go somewhere, like, what do you yeah, need to do? Exactly. I want to carry something. Like, it, as soon as I'm able to carry something, that's like, whenever we want to go somewhere. Carry what? A glass of water. As soon as I can carry a glass of water. Do you carry a lot of glasses of water when you travel? It, it'd be nice to be able to walk around with some kind of drink in my hand. What about... Maybe. Just okay, around my neck. We can get a carabiner and no, that, up to your... That's just my... I want to get to there, is what I'm saying. Like, that's that's my goal. As soon as I can walk and carry water, then we can go somewhere. Okay. That's where we are now. Mentally, we're, we're totally good. Right, Blair? Right, Blair? Mentally? So good? Yeah. Okay, your head's mostly going up and down. <laughs> so, let's uh, I guess see where the day takes us. Yep. Okay, right, right, here's some puppies. There's some puppy video. Hi. So, yeah, for the sake of pure honesty here, I am a little bit stressed. It's just, we've been watching uh, Matt's parents' house and taking care of all of their animals um, while doing everything here. And with Matt not able to do much, a lot of it kind of falls on me. And it's not, not his fault in any way. But when juggling that and my work and our family and our friends like it, it does get kind of overwhelming but you know I'm, I'm fine uh, I just have my moments like this morning when we're rushed and I just like I have really bad anxiety so I just kind of want to shut down um, and not do anything but of course we can't do that because life goes on uh, you know we have to keep moving forward and we have to stay positive and we have to keep doing our thing because if we were to let um, our fears and our stresses and our anxiety get the best of us. We wouldn't get anything done. So, you know, I'm gonna keep smiling. I'm gonna keep pushing. We are gonna keep pushing. Uh, right now, we're gonna leave the dogs in the house and then we've got a lot to do today. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon.